we're just pulling up to Ryerson Cabin. This is at the southernmost part of this hike. It looks like it's boarded up. Check it out, he had electricity. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. All right, this tells you a lot about this is less than a hundred years ago. Less than a hundred years ago. Yeah, this is you know basically the construction. And look, he did have power at some point. We were talking about why you would kind of put the cabin in where the river's backing up. We just felt that would be kind of a mosquito opportunity. But uh, he is much closer to the main part of the river here. So maybe there's just good current. I don't know. Would be a fun place. There's like a chandelier still hanging in there. You see that? All right, you're going in the cabin. Uh, tilt it. <laughs> da, 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 da. Boom, boom. Oh. Let's go all the way in. Oh, excellent. All right, well, we'll be we'll be looking at that. Oh, cool. Three sixty camera is good for more than one thing. <laughs> sure. We'll have to take a uh, photo. Three sixty photo? Yeah. Yeah. Is that right there, or back to Robert? Yeah, I, I want to get some chimney in the river. It smells like mold. Oof. That is not survivable. Well, when we get back, we'll have to look up Ryerson Steel, find out where this was. It was down by the Indiana Dunes, or not. Yeah. One of the bigger plants down there 100 years ago. Let's see. Or Joliet, or any of the places that we've hiked. Ryerson Steel. I found a few Ryerson locations near you. We'll zoom in, find out what the town names. One of them is definitely in the Indiana Dunes. One's in Milwaukee, Chicago, Lyle. Ryerson is a metal processor and distributor offering more than 65,000 varieties of stainless aluminum, carbon, and dot, dot, dot. So, Ryerson Steel. Still in business. Big, big company. CEO is Edward J. Leonard. All right. 